Hello everyone, thanks for joining me inside the LinkedIn section of the B2B Content Marketing Blueprint course. Best place to start for content marketing on LinkedIn is with your profile. So I'm going to just show you my profile because I've filled it out to a very, to a good level and I just want to highlight a few points that you will need to follow you because you're B2B content marketers you're going to be familiar with LinkedIn so I'm not going to go through every step in terms of creating an account I'm going to assume that you've already got an account and you've already got a profile I'm just going to give you a few pointers that will help set you up for success so first one is to ensure that you're using relevant keywords in your title so uh, marketing fundamentals limited is the company that i founded and, and run and our core focus is content marketing and social media you can see that's in my headline so anybody who searches for me even if they're not connected to me even at the third level will be able to see this title i've got a professional photo there uh, you can see my company uh, there's some contact info and then obviously an overview of how many connections I have. All of this is uh, instantly viewable uh, or visible to everybody on LinkedIn who, who, search, who may search for me logged in or, or not logged in. Uh, it's also viewable for people who are using other platforms and will appear in Google searches uh, against my name. So, uh, and searches are started on other uh, search engines as well as Google. Scrolling down, you can see I have some examples of work. So there's some slides there, presentations, and there's a couple of an animated video there. Uh, so I have populated the uh, projects and work uh, showcase element of my profile. I just scroll a bit more, show a bit more, so you can see there. So there's a presentation, and there's a video there. Scrolling back up. With the description, and these are, as I say, these are all pointers that I'd like you to follow uh, so we can set you up for success as we work, work through the course. With the description, I've not taken the old fashioned approach, which would be to make the, uh, you know, your, your, your profile uh, equivalent of an online CV. It's not an online CV. You should be thinking in terms of positioning your business as problem solvers. So content is helpful information for people in your target audience. You've identified their pain points and then offer them solutions. Uh, so even in my profile, I'm asking a question about a pain point they may have. Do you need more leads and prospects for your professional services firms? We're marketing fundamentals. Not to we we are we focus on working with B2B businesses and professional services businesses uh, who uh, need obviously to to build their profile but also to generate more leads and prospects uh, and we use content marketing to do that that's our focus we're not content marketing for everybody so by identifying their pain points in my profile and addressing those straight away we have their interest and they will want to read on and discover how we can help them that's essentially the, the hook is how you can help them so if your profile is not work, written in that respect or from that perspective please make some amends there. You can obviously take a look at my profile and, and that might give you some some hints. So uh, you just identify the core focus of the company, you've done that, and then very uh, easy to find contact details uh, and the website URL, and then scrolling down just some more detail about the, uh, the projects the company's worked on. After that, you've got uh, just summarizing, I've got 2,000 followers. I've noticed there are lots of people now with around 10, 20, 25,000 followers. Uh, I've just grown my followers organically. I've not used any particular uh, methods or techniques to, to add sort of another 10, 20,000 followers. Uh, I'm not against those methods necessarily. I'm just being completely transparent with you. I've not used those. And I uh, assume that people who've got to 20, 25,000 followers have obviously delivered a lot of content, but also have used some of the techniques available to grow their networks very quickly. Uh, that could be a benefit. Um, but what's more important is making sure that you have uh, qualitative contacts 
and connections within your network. So you can see I'm active. Some people aren't very active on LinkedIn. They just have their position and an overview of what they're doing uh, currently. But I'm very active. I use LinkedIn and post on LinkedIn with original content from marketingfundamentals.com. That's a company website URL. But also uh, I will uh, like, and I'm just going to click on see all activity. But also I like and comment on other people's content so I'm just scrolling up there so you can see there's other content there there's some that's a, a LinkedIn status update that I wrote it gives a different perspective sometimes we can be too formal so that was a way of and that's just a couple of days ago that was a way of of uh, showing my personality and character rather than just uh, professional achievements some more scrolling down you can see some more content from uh, I've liked somebody else's content there like somebody else's post there more so my my profile is very active each day we each weekday I am distributing content and also engage interacting with other people's content on LinkedIn it's essential that you do that the more visible you are without spamming people of course the more visible you are the more your posts when you come to make them and distribute them will be uh, noticed and then engaged with so that's very important that you're active on the platform so that's something that you need to do you need to be active on the platform you need to make sure that you've got you've completed your profile you've completed your profile from the perspective of uh, target customers or, or your audience also that you've posted on LinkedIn I'm just going to click on some of my articles so these are here are some articles some of these have been originally LinkedIn sto stories and then uh, I've made them into articles and then more conventionally I'm scrolling down now you can see some of these articles so that article is entitled what is our approach summarizing the approach that marketing fundamentals takes to the creation of content for professional service and b2b firms and then scrolling down some more original blog content that was also posted on LinkedIn. So I posted initially on on the Marketing Fundamentals website because obviously your own company website is your online hub and everything else should really direct traffic to your online hub where you have the full attention of, of your audience. Uh, and then scrolling down is quite so I've posted quite a few articles you don't need to have posted as many as I have but it's it's definitely worthwhile and will build your credibility to post at least a few articles let's say 10 uh, if you haven't got those already I'm scrolling down because I want to demonstrate something a couple of years ago uh, perhaps there were less people posting on LinkedIn I think at the time that I started less than 1% of people who were users of LinkedIn were actually posting on the platform posting content to the platform lots of people were posting you know blog content uh, uh, on the platform but actually publishing on the LinkedIn platform there were less people a couple of years ago so some of, I'm scrolling down some of these uh, posts just waiting for here are the articles there I'm just going to scroll down so here are some of the articles as uh, just to further to my point about some of the articles in 2015 because less people were publishing on the platform receiving more attention than uh, later articles so that post 300th blog post what did we learn from publishing 300 we're a lot further on than 300 now but what did we learn from publishing 300 blog posts that received 756 clicks was which was good what should social enterprises do with content and social media five pointers that was also good response rate in terms of 737 clicks and how do you create better business relationships uh, six tips that receive 681 clicks they're all very good response levels in terms of the, the clicks on the articles I don't typically receive that many clicks on my articles nowadays but I, and I put that down to the fact that so many more people are publishing on LinkedIn but you still should have a few articles on LinkedIn I'm gonna leave it there because that's the first discussion around how to use LinkedIn you need to fill out your profile you need to make sure you're you've got some articles published you're active with your profile and you address your customers pain points through your own profile rather than waiting for them to read uh, the company page for example they may not get to your company page if you've not already enticed them 
with your offer to solve their pain points on your personal profile. Okay, I look forward to speaking to you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you've liked this video, please give me a like. Click on my face to subscribe or and turn on the notification so you don't miss a single video from me. Thanks for watching all the way through. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Bye bye.